Hey y'all, DK here. I just got a package from BBTS. Let's see what we got. This is already open. <laughs> Oh yes, I have been very excited about this. This is the Otherworlder series uh, 21, I believe. This is the Demon Lord Rimuru. I grabbed this because I've been wanting to get a Rimuru that's more in scale with the rest of my Ban Presto and Papa Parade figures because I love my Figma to death. Of course, my favorite figure in my entire collection. I adore it, but it's not in scale with the rest of them. I wanted one to be in scale with all of them and uh, I can just go put my Figma back over there on my Figma shelf so it doesn't look like I don't have any representation of the greatest anime of all time over there because that was also hurting me quite a bit. So yes, I grabbed this and also while uh, I was actually out today and I grabbed uh, SS86 Wheelie from Target So we will also open him up and have a look here. So it's an unboxing. I'm looking forward to this I think this is probably going to be a very good option if you want a budget Rimuru because most of his scale figures are very very expensive um, So yeah, but uh, I will say though. I have a very very, 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 very exciting Tensor figure on the way. That is, uh, all I'll say is, it's not a prize figure. So, that's all I'll say. But, without further ado, let's jump into this. They also do advertise the uh, Hinata on the side here. I, this Hinata, that face looks really off. I don't know if I'm going to go for that. I think I'm going to wait for them to do another Hinata, personally. I can wait. She's She hasn't done too much yet. I know she's going to be a big deal in Season 3, but... I can wait for now. All right, cool stuff. I actually just got uh, two um, uh, pre-order notifications for two of the upcoming Ban Presto ones, two I'm very, very excited about. So you can expect videos on those very soon. All righty. I'm really hoping this will be like a really great option for a budget Rimuru for you guys. There's tons of uh, Ban Presto Rimurus, but this one is very, very recent and I think it's going to be a really, really, really good option. So let's go. Righty. So he does have a base. He doesn't have one of those things like uh, Benny Maru had. He does have a base. Honestly, I actually kind of like the thing Benny Maru has. It actually um, it lets you save space a little bit. You don't have all those bases taking up the whole, the whole, the whole damn shelf. But you guys still haven't seen my Tensor Shrine. There's his torso, but you will see it eventually. But there is his torso. I like the size already. The size looks like it's going to be in perfect scale with the others. And. Here is his head. Ooh, the, the face sculpt is absolutely gorgeous. Let me just go ahead and plop it on his head body right there. There you go. There is my boy. Looks really good. Looks really, really, really good. Um, yeah, the face is pretty on point. It it, it definitely look, it looks really good, but there is something a little bit weird about kind of like the, the nose placement ever so slightly. It looks a little... I mean, obviously Rimuru is supposed to be like like supermodel level hot, but um, uh, I don't think they quite got that 100%. But I mean, it's a prize figure. We can't be too mad. But I do think it looks really, really, really good. Alrighty. There we go. There he is on the base. That base is really, really big. Oh my goodness. But yeah, it fits up there. Perfectly. That looks great. Okay. And let's get his sword out. You don't have to give him the sword if you don't want to. Again, Rimuru didn't use the sword when he became a demon lord, so I think he used it once in the movie. Okay, so he's used it once. Did he use it in the movie? I think I remember him using it in the movie. Alrighty. So we're good. Let's see here. Okay, so the sword goes in. I like the way this goes, though. The sword goes into the back of his hand like this. Like he's holding a, like he's like, like he's like Michael Myers with a kitchen knife. That's a little bit odd, but hey, I'm here for it. And then you give him the sheath. He goes around his arm here, like this. And then you just plop that in his hand. Just like that. Wow, that looks great. That looks absolutely fabulous. I I do wish they could have made the base a little bit smaller. I didn't need all this space here, but this is amazing. What a spectacular Rimuru, y'all. If you guys need yourself a budget Rimuru, you don't want to break the bank on the Figma, or you need something in like, or if you're like me and you need something more in scale with the rest of your price figures, this is a really great option. This is a really, really great option. Wow, he looks great. I love the, the placement of the sword, how he has it held right there. The sheath looks great. The hair looks absolutely phenomenal. The face sculpt, again, a little bit off. They always seem to get the face sculpt just a little bit off. Like I said, the Hinata looks a little bit off. And like Be uh, Benny Maru, I'll grab him real quick so we can show a couple comparisons here. There he is with 
the Benny Maru. The Benny Maru's face is also a little bit off in my opinion. But again, these are prized figures and they're very affordable. You can't be too mad. This figure looks absolutely amazing, man. And I gotta say, I've really, really loved this uh, Veldora as well. Let me grab him. There you go. These look great together. There's Veldora with his, with his uh, bosom buddy right there. Looking awesome. Absolutely love it. So, this I think is going to do absolutely perfectly for an in-scale Rimuru for my Tensor Shrine. I am very much excited to put this up there. Yeah, it looks great. I can't recommend this enough. For the price of this, it's just as immaculate as all of the other. I still think the Benny Maru is my favorite, though. That is definitely good. Although there's one, I, I told you guys I got some pre-order notifications for some coming out, and there's one coming out in that that I think might have the ability to top it. I don't know. I'm not saying 100% that it will, but I think it might. Um, but yes, this Rimuru is phenomenal. If you're still on the lookout for a great Rimuru, uh, this one's definitely one to consider. They really, really crushed it with this, man. Hard to fuck up Rimuru, but still so good, man. Absolutely love it. Holly oh, looks so great up there. Alrighty, let's have a look at SS86 uh, really right here. He looks pretty fun. I just grabbed him because core classes are super cheap. You can just be like, yeah, whatever. Let's just grab him real quick. They have a, so they have that Origins Jazz. I'm waiting, I'm just, I'm saving that for a rainy day. I'm saving that for a rainy day. One day when I got nothing to do and I'm bored out of my mind, I'm just gonna go and grab that. <laughs> Alrighty. So here is Core Class Wheelie. I don't imagine I'm gonna be spending too long on this again. It's just a Core Class, but I did kind of want to get this Wheelie. It does look pretty darn good. Right there. Be cool if we got a Bayburst wheelie. <laughs> I just rewatched Revenge of the Fallen the other day, man, and God, I fucking love that movie. <laughs> and we get his little, uh, we get his little slingshot right here as well. There we go. This is um, this is absolutely one hundred percent better than the shitty one that came with the uh, the Grimlock, man. That one was awful. Very nice. The sculpt looks really great. This guy's obviously not going to be getting a review, so... Uh, yeah, the sculpt looks great. I like the silver for the fists right there. Face looks really, really, really great. Absolutely love it. Oh! One thing I wanted to talk about in this. Uh, I totally forgot to talk about it while unboxing Rimuru. I wanted to talk about it while unboxing Rimuru. But I wanted to talk about the, the Tensor live-action uh, adaptation that Gon announced. Yeah, so if you guys have, if you guys don't know all of my fellow Tensor fanatics out there, uh, there is a Tensor live-action coming out. Now, on one hand, it is a Japanese live action, so it actually does have a chance to not be dog shit, so there's that, but I can't really say I'm all that excited for it. One of the best things about Tensora is the animation and the art style, the really awesome, like, sharp art style with the, and the way, just the way it looks and how fluid it is, especially in, like, the fight scenes. It's such a huge part of the show, and I don't think, and I, I don't know, I don't, I don't know if translating that to live action is gonna look good, and, and I mean, like, Rimuru is gonna have to be animated for the first uh, arc anyway, so, cause, you know, he's a slime in the first arc, so, I don't know if they're gonna be able to, um, pull that off, but if it goes on Crunchyroll, I will probably give it a ch I will probably check it out but I can't say I'm like excited for it obviously I want to support everything Tensora because it's my life but um I don't know but I can't really say 100% that I'm like actually really excited for this live action but hey maybe it'll be maybe it'll be fun it is really cool that Tensora is getting a live action before so many other like normie boring generic animes right now I'm really happy about that but yeah, really. Yeah, I, I just wanted to I just wanted to talk about that real quick in case any of you guys haven't heard yet. Yeah, that's uh, it, it's happening. Yeah, it's certainly happening. Make of that information what you will. But like I said, I don't know. I'm a little bit. I'm a little bit. If I'm a little bit iffy on it. I don't know if they're gonna be able to do it. And I don't know how. Um, I don't know how. Li I've never watched a live action an anime adaptation, at least not a Japanese one. So uh, I'm trying to learn the transformation here. So I don't know if um. If they keep the music, the music is such a huge part of Tensora. Like, taking the music out would be a massive blow to the experience, so... I really don't know. I mean, obviously, yes, you know, you have, like, your... You have your out-of-this-world character development, your amazing world building. Uh, you have your, you know, like, the, the really... Whole, the insanely wholesome moments and all that. You have all that in spades, but... The music is such a huge part of that freaking show, man. It's absolutely essential to the viewing it. Alright, let me see here. This is a really... This is actually way more complicated than I expected it to be. I mean, it's a core class. How hard can it be, right? So that piece, these pieces go like this, and they tab together, and then they fold up? How the hell did this piece, because this piece doesn't move. 
this like arm bracket right here. Okay, there we go. It just took me a little, it took me longer than it should have in all honesty to figure this out. It's very, very basic. I was like, what the hell is going on? This is a core class. Why can I not figure this out? There we go. And tab that other leg in right there. Tab those together. Get all that, get all that nice and squozing. There we go. Tab that in and fold that piece down. Tab that in, tab, tab. And then I think there's a little spot right here for the slingshot. There we go. And those just tab on the back right there. I'm having a hard time getting that arm to stay in, but there is the alt mode. Oh, this figure is fun enough. I mean, it's a court class. It's, yeah, it's solid, you know. The plastic quality is nothing special. Obviously, the articulation is nothing special. But if you need a wheelie, obviously, there's probably no other, there's no better option right there. I think the, can the cockpit open? Yeah, cockpit can open, but you, I mean, it's just his head in there. But you can absolutely use it. I like the weapon storage. The weapon storage is good. Alt mode's fun enough. It's accurate. Um, the robot mode is also very accurate. The paint's really nice. I like this little bit all over that right there. Yeah, this figure's solid. I mean, for a core class, you can't be too picky. You can't be too judgy on it. It's just a core class. But uh, yeah, I think it's pretty solid. Let me transform it back re real quick. I don't know why it took me so damn long to figure out this transformation. I want, oh, can you use that weapon storage in uh, robot mode too? If so, that's definitely very nice. Oh, that's what the problem was. I didn't realize that those were like hinges that like go inward. There we go. And rotate that, fold that down, rotate that, fold that down down, fold that piece down, pop that open, and flip out his head right there, get all that tabbed in place, there we go. So yeah, you can use that, um, you can use that weapon storage from the alt mode very small. <laughs> uh, you can use that uh, weapon. You can't use that weapon storage right there. I mean, it looks very awkward, but it works. It is a, uh, it is some weapon storage. Uh, this thing is okay. It, it's a hundred, it's okay. If you want to know more, I'd recommend going and checking out a few reviews, uh, but it, it's fine. I mean, for the price, for a core class price, it's fine. The transformation is actually a little bit more intricate than you would expect from a core class. The paintwork is great. The articulation is very, very nice. Yeah. It's, it's a solid wheelie. I don't think they're going to give us a better wheelie than this in Chug. So if you're after a Chug wheelie, there you go. Pretty much, yeah, I think this will pretty much knock it out of the park for you. So there you have it, y'all. It was a bit of a shorter video today, but I hope it was enjoyable nonetheless. Of course, this absolutely gorgeous Lord Rimuru figure. This thing is really, really, really nice. I'm really, really satisfied with this. Again, there's lots of options for uh, for Rimuru's, but I definitely think this is probably one of the better budget ones, man. It's really, really, really nice. I just, I love that pose. It's so badass, so badass, and so Rimuru. But there you have it, everybody. Thank you for watching, and this is Dia Yelatine, assigning out.